Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island Recap An ancient ring is found indicating possible Spanish treasure in the swamp. This week on The Curse of Oak Island, the team commenced deep drilling at OC1, where they believe the money pit to be. However, while there was excitement early on, it, unfortunately, turned to disappointment. As the massive bucket from their new heavy-duty drilling equipment took its first scoop of earth, the excitement was palpable. With a target depth of 200 feet, they were bound to find something, maybe even the treasure shaft itself. It appeared to be all hands on deck as the guys gathered to sift through the dirt, hoping to get what Rick Legina always describes as an aha moment. The first possible aha moment came at approximately 120 feet when Oak Island researcher Paul Troutman found a bone. The shape and size made the guy speculate it was human, a workman who tragically lost his life perhaps. It will have to be sent for expert analysis to determine if it was a searcher or original workman or neither. There was further excitement later when they discovered a fragment of wood and the guy speculated it was part of the top or bottom of a barrel. Gary Drayton pointed out that treasure was often kept in barrels, not chests. These turned out to be the only significant finds from the dick. And as the drill went deeper and deeper, the guys found less and less wood. The disappointment was starkly etched on the team's faces as they decided to call it a day. Thankfully, all was not lost. The episode also saw Gary and Rick down by the swamp in an area where the metal detector had not yet been swung. The first item they dug up was a tin can lid. Definitely not Templar related, Gary joked. Never discouraged, the pair continued searching, only to moments later unearth a ring. The ring looked old. It had an ornate floral pattern, unlike modern rings, which tend to have stones in them according to Gary. That's a sweet find, he said. You're my lucky digger, he told Rick. The pair excitedly took it back to the Oak Island Research Center to show it off to the others. A cursory examination proved it perhaps belonged to a child or a small woman. Laird Niven put in under a microscope where we could easily see a beautiful starburst floral pattern. Most exciting was the appearance of white specks that looked like silver. The guys agreed to dispatch the ring to an expert, a sap. A short time later, the team gathered in the war room with the gemologist and master goldsmith, Charles Lutonbrain, beaming down at them from a large monitor. He stated that the floral design was chiseled, which means it was probably made before the 1730s. Lutonbrain said it was probably Spanish in origin. Could it be related to the Spanish coin from the 1650s that the guys found in the swamp six years ago? Gary pointed out floral designs were common on the Spanish treasure fleets. Could this ring have come from a Spanish treasure chest? Given it was found in the swamp, perhaps it's related to the theory that a Spanish galleon might be buried at the bottom of the marshy land.